Okay, so we have Betty White's features lined up on top of Harry Styles' face, and they look like they're lined up well. But I'm going to zoom in a little bit with the magnifying glass. You can access that by hitting the Z on the keyboard or just clicking on the tool. I'm going to draw a box around an area to show you how Betty White is much paler than Harry Styles. So he has a little bit more orange in his skin tone, um, and this is where you know you have two different images from two, two different photo shoots, uh, you know, makeup probably on both people. But um, that's where the skin tone issue kind of comes up with this project. So I'm just gonna show you how to fix it. In this case, I'm gonna zoom out. I'm gonna click on the Harry Styles image, okay? And rather than try to make Betty White more saturated or kind of orangish, I'm gonna actually take some of the, the oranginess out of Harry Styles. So I'm gonna click on his image, okay? the layer that has his image on it. And then I'm gonna to go to the image menu, adjustments, and this is the same um, menu that we visited for the fruit truck. Um, this time, we're not gonna really mess with the colorize button or any of the stuff in the, the spectrum here. We're just gonna drag the saturation slider down a little bit. I don't know if you can see what's happening right here. Obviously, if you go too far, it takes all the color out of the image and makes it into a black and white image. We don't wanna do that but we want to kind of meet in the middle somewhere so that Harry Styles' skin tone is as pale as Betty White's is, okay? So that's looking pretty good, and the good thing is that it didn't really affect the other areas of the image too much. So his sweater is still pretty much the same color it was, and the hair is brown. So uh, that looks good, and then hit OK. And of course, if you needed to do any more tweaking to you know where one person's features meets the other, you could always click back on the mask that little black box that has the white kind of smudges in it, and you can go back with the brush and do some fixing. Uh, remember, black hides, white shows. So that's how you fix that problem. I have this other image that I was working on uh, that has Steve Martin, the comedian and actor, and uh, Ariana Grande. So this is her, the original picture, and then this is uh, the Steve Martin picture that I kind of brought in, lined up the features. But he's a lot pinker than she is, so um, in and, and this is another way of doing it. So instead of making her paler or pinker to match him, I'm going to actually click on the Steve Martin layer, but I'm going to be careful to not be on the mask. See that little white border that shows up when you're on the mask? I want to be on the actual image of Steve Martin. Okay, and I'm going to go back to that image adjustments menu that we did for the Harry Styles Betty White thing, but this time I'm going to actually use this thing called Color Balance right here. And what this lets me do is it kind of lets me drag these sliders around to sort of find a better uh, match. Now, Ariana Grande is definitely more orangish, so um, not sure how much you know about mixing colors, but um, if you were to make an orange, uh, you probably know this, but you would use red and yellow, right, if you are mixing paints. So I'm going to kind of drag the slider a little bit further towards the red, right, the top slider, and I'm going to drag the bottom one a little bit more towards the yellow. So you can see what's happening, right? Steve Martin's face is becoming much more uh, orangish to match uh, the Aria Grande image. Now, obviously, going in the wrong direction, I don't want blue, so that's why I'm kind of dragging towards the red. And I like to think of it as I'm, I'm mixing a color. So that's looking pretty good. I think um, the last thing you could do is, you know, some of the areas, let me zoom in here, where one uh, image is going into the other, if I wanted to kind of like maybe make this a little smoother, I can go back to the mask, so the, the, the little black box with the white splotches in it on the Steve Martin layer, and I'm going to hit B for my brush tool. Now, I want to hide a little bit of Steve Martin's kind of like textured more ruddy complexion to kind of blend with uh, Ariana Grande's a little better. So I want to be on black, right? And remember, you can make your brush as big or as small as you want by right-clicking on it anywhere in the image. You can make it harder or softer. I'm going to make it super soft, right? Leave the size where it is. And then there's also this opacity thing, which is kind of cool. So you can make the brush, uh, it doesn't quite appear with one click. Like if it was at 100, then when I when I start painting, it's going to um, show through right away. But you can control kind of the, the level at which it, it reveals or hides when you paint with that opacity slider. So I just have it at 62. And then you can see kind of as I, I could even make it smaller or sorry, lower. 
and you can see it's letting me sort of make these really smooth transitions. And all I'm doing here is hiding Steve Martin, right, with black, and I'm on his mask. So it's kind of a cool little subtle fix that you can do. So that's that's another way that you can fix um, the skin tone imbalance issue.